Hello and welcome back to the Mike from LA1 channel here on YouTube and welcome back to the Phoenix Wright My Player series here on my channel. Yes, you saw me loading up Phoenix Wright earlier instead of Max Power and I thought, you know, which one am I going to choose? Well, since my camera's out of me almost out of memory, you guys won't be seeing these guys the next, the rest of them for a while, so. So this is episode 11 in the last episode and now as we approach actually I think this is close to the wrap up actually oh my god actually this is the season wrap up so this is going to be a short video As you can see right now is a uh, right now the As you can see this is a very short season and <laughs> how funny is this there's going to be a season here as the Raptors are 29 and 50 so far, which that is really bad, but they're on a, they are 6 and 4, but the bad news is they're facing a, a really hot Orlando team. So hopefully Phoenix could end the season on a high note here. As you can see, this is the season 2 finale of Phoenix Rise by Players, so this could, this could mean the next episode could be free agency for Phoenix. Otherwise, Otherwise, he'll be staying in Toronto for another year. And now here comes another intro here as we get ready to go into the Air Canada Center. We're holding court in the home of the Raptors, the beautiful Air Canada Center in downtown Toronto. And oh shoot, I forgot, I have to show them. Show the all the road jerseys. I'll show it off next episode of Phoenix in the next week. So now Phoenix, he is the point guard for the Phoenix, for the Toronto Raptors. So this could be the end of the line here for Phoenix. I actually forgot about that. I'm sorry, folks. He's, he's in at point guard right now. And he allowed him to score so his teammate grade went down there. Point here as here comes Phoenix. And he missed, so so Toronto is still up by one here, so now as the guarding is Helgo Tugalu. That arch got to watch out for Howard. Defensive effort from them today. I mean, I think it's essential. Steve, you all no question. If they can have success defensively, uh, they're going to create some offensive opportunities for themselves in transition. Johnson gets the right. You, the friend of your Johnson. Here's Padgett. And unfortunately, Phoenix's teammates have a little trouble scoring. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. And there's good shot defense, which is odd because he did not pretend to get the block. And Phoenix missed again. Oh wait, that was his first shot attempt of the game, excuse me. He got that apparently I'm not paying attention. Arenas. That drops. 
Arenas has got 10 points in the game. They have no answer for him. He's just putting on a dominant display of offense. Nelson is going to be hit. With Personal foul, so this means Phoenix is going to the free throw line. And he's going to move to shooting guard because of that. And that is really unfortunate, but what? No free throws. What a get. Wait, Greg Oden? Are you freaking kidding me? Did we actually get Greg Oden? We did. We get Greg Oden. Kenyon Martin has checked in for the match. Richardson comes in for Hito Tricolou. And unfortunately, Oden got it. But that's not going to be an assist. But that was, so. So it's no. So now he has now Phoenix has to guard Gilbert Arenas. Unfortunately, he got blocked. No, he got turnover, excuse me, but... And he allowed a score off turnover. Good job, Phoenix. Now he's at a C-, minus, so... And there's Phoenix's comeback. The only way this would happen is if he attempts a three-pointer. Wait, 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 oh! No, that was a bad shot. But at the end of the first quarter, now let's take a look at the advertisement for April 17th. Tune in this Wednesday night. Andre Iguodala and the Philadelphia 76ers go up against LeBron James and the Miami Heat, a battle in the East. Don't miss it. That's pretty identical to... If they played the full season, that would have been Miami's record. <laughs> at this point. But right now, Phoenix has a decision. Toronto seems like a nice city. So now, at the end of the second half... At the end of the first half, excuse me. The, the, the Magic lead, 45-43. Now it's time for HP at the half. Hello, I'm Damon Bruce from the 2K Sports Studios. We got a tight one at the break at Air Canada Center. Let's tip off the HP halftime report. Great effort on the court. By Dwight the Howard leads scoring for the Magic, while George Hill leads for the Raptors. Second. Let's check out what's on tap around the league. The New Jersey Nets will go up against the Wizards in our nation. 30 and 50. Well, there's nice the Wizards are still the rebuilding, there. so that's still that's still excusable. That but the Nets are one and nine East. in the last ten and games. That's that's, that's up, pathetic. Over at New Orleans Arena, the Hornets will be facing up against the Nuggets. Start time seven o'clock okay. Eastern. Okay. Okay. And now here's what's going on in the rest of the association. Up oh, the T Wolves are gonna lose because they're playing so the Thunder. Oh, that's gonna be that easy for the Lakers. It's a 52 and 29. Wow, Mike Brown definitely ain't turned down, turn, turn them around. And now Matt Phoenix is back out, back out here on the court. As he gives it to the other right, as Phoenix, I don't know what the heck he's doing, he's going to attempt the three-pointer, but unfortunately that did not work. That did not go through, and he missed. And he blocks again. Wait, no, he just missed. Jeez, that's a unexpected. Jeez, I'm failing. Okay, he's getting confused who's going to be his assignment here. Well, he didn't get a leave assignment, thank God. Otherwise, he would have been really pissed. And he missed again. Here's Nelson. Nelson, 
Here's Clark. Shoots. The jumper's good from inside six feet. Unfortunately, they're playing like they are 29 and 50. You want to get that ball to the rim. Your backcourt needs to drive the ball to the basket. Get some fouls racked up on the other team's big people. Get a couple of easy points at the foul line. That's how you turn the end game. Wait, who's 33? Anderson, okay. okay. Up there is the leave assignment. And that one's good. Take, take your team the lead before the game ends. Oh, jeez. That's going to be close to a near impossible. And he gets a personal foul. And now it's a D plus. Which is weird because if you hit the back button... It goes straight to your assignment, so that way you can avoid the leave assignments right there. And the Raptors, for some reason, call a timeout. Like, what do you... And of course, the Toronto Raptors, they find themselves with the dregs of the conference. Looking at Toronto, they've been as flat as they can be this season. It might be time, not just for some lineup changes, but a major overhaul. Yeah, you might be right, Clark, because you can see that there's no spark to this club. Nothing seems to be clicking. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some big changes. And here's Richardson's What? Side. You mean, like, well, Phoenix getting good. traded Wilson. again? Richardson's got five. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. As Phoenix goes to the free throw line here. By fouling on that lay. Make him earn two points. Yeah, I think that's a no-brainer. I mean, send him to the line instead of giving up an easy two. And that one Wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's see. No, it's still three. Okay, I'm still good. And he missed them both. But, the good news is, someone rebounded, and then that person got fouled. And he... There we go, there we go, there's Phoenix. Now Phoenix is getting his game back. Whoa, Phoenix almost got another steal. And there goes Phoenix again and foul. So back to the free throw line for Phoenix. Made the first one. Thanks, Baldy. He's off. On well, he missed that one. And here now the match. Four point game. Whoa, what happened? Excuse me. Now with one minute left to go in the quarter, here goes Phoenix. Here's right. and Fouled again. Oh boy. And unfortunately he missed. Elton Brands checked in for Toronto. And there goes Booker as Elton Brand comes back. Gilbert Arena subbed in for Jameer Nelson. It's 
So he comes and he in. missed. Missing both. Magic leading by four. Richards in the pass to Reese. Now right defender. Six to shoot. Good on the shot. 17 points for Gilbert Arenas. Unfortunately, things cannot get any worse here for Toronto. But then he passes it to Elton Brand and Brand dishes to right. He passes to Oak. And unfortunately, turnover. I'm not sure what they're thinking offensively. Poor decision on that pass. A look out. Now at nine seconds left. Wait. No, but that was a good attempt by Phoenix for a buzzer beater. At the end of the third, the Orlando leads Toronto 61-55. That was it for the advertisement for April 19th. Coming up this Friday. LeBron James and the Miami Heat go up today. against the New Jersey Nets. It's an Eastern Conference duel. Who knows, Hoops that could be action. Max's team. Enjoys he. I apologize for that no background noise there. He's back on the bench and... You've got to be kidding me! One point! They lost by one point. 86-85. So the Raptors and Clark are now Hill. 20... And 51. So I think that should just about do it for this season. Toronto is mathically eliminated from playoff contention. So that is kind of suckish this entire year for Toronto. But now let's head to the post game press conference. Tough loss tonight. You might even say the team took a collective punch to the stomach giving that one up. What are you thinking after losing a game that many people would say you should have won? Yeah, losing close ones like that is the worst. Man, you always feel like one different decision or one missed shot going in could have made the difference. It's easy to get way too far down that road though, so I try not to dwell on it too much. It's in the books now, and there's nothing anyone can do to change that. Best thing we can do is come out strong next game and leave nothing in doubt. Okay, thank you, Phoenix. That's probably the last press conference in Toronto if they're going to do a major <laughs> overhaul. If that is the case. Right now, as right now, Toronto, he gets 81 skill points there, so we could put that in the next episode when we go to a road game. If he if he stays in Toronto, if he stays in Toronto, that is. Catch me in my Mercedes, but as right now, and, and here's the most valuable player. Look for the second year in a row, LeBron James gets it. Tony Bagger of the Raptors gets Rookie of the Year. Way to go, man! Baron Davis of the Cleveland Cavaliers wins Sixth Man of the Year. Oh gee, I wonder who's gonna win the Defensive Player of the Year. Of course. Dwight Howard of the Orlando Magic, pretty soon Los Angeles Lakers, besides the rumors. Greg Monroe of the Detroit Pistons gets the most improved player. Coach of the year is Eric Spolstra of the Miami Heat. Now here's the first team again, it's the same thing. Second team is Monte Ellis of the Golden State Warriors. John Wall of the Washington Wizards. Dirk Nowinski of the Dallas Mavericks, Blake Griffin of the Clippers, and Brooke Lo Lopez from the New Jersey Nets. Thirteenth, Stephen Curry of the Golden State Warriors, Chris Paul of the Google -Go Golden State Warriors, the Cleveland Cavaliers, Rudy Gay of the Memphis Grizzlies, Carmelo Anthony of the New York Knicks, and Al Jefferson of the Utah Jazz. The all defensive team. The only difference is Wesley Johnson from the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, almost dropped my controller. Okay, the all defensive team changed. The second team changed for sure. Tyreek Evans of the Sacramento Kings. Landry Fields of Phoenix's former team, the Phoenix Suns. 
Taj Gibson of, Chicago, of the Chicago Bulls, Kevin Garnett of the Boston Celtics, Greg Monroe of the Detroit Pistons, the all-rookie team Tony Banjan of the Raptors, way to go man, Jeffrey Park of the Charlotte Bobcats, Wade Harvey of the Memphis Grizzlies, Edmund Torres of the Cleveland Cavaliers, and Alexander Markov of the Oklahoma City Thunder. The second team is Blake Jeffries of the of the New Orleans Hornets. Antonio Byars from the Denver Nuggets. Walt Shepard from the Miami Heat. Lamar Dawkins of the Los Angeles Clippers. And Cecil Backwell of the Detroit Pistons. And the Heat won the championship four games to one. Well, this, that's pretty much a dead-on prediction right there. Because that could be the case if the Miami wins game five. I don't know when it is, anyway. LeBron James is the playoff MVP. Again, probably going to happen. As the, oh, looks like, listen to this. The Toronto Raptors have picked up the team option year on your contract. You'll be the free agent at the end of next season, so the overhaul will not include Phoenix leaving Toronto. So, and I guess in the next episode, we'll be adding up these skill points. And plus, we will see. The next road game will be at Orlando, so the next key rival game will be a road game. So you will see Phoenix wearing the road jerseys. So until then, Mike from LA1, signing off. Later, folks.